Hi guys, today we're gonna to be looking at Opera VPN, which is a VPN that is built into the Opera web browser. This is just like Firefox or Chrome, it's just a competing alternative uh, that now has their own VPN. This feature was first introduced in the developer edition of the browser and then was rolled into the main uh, browser in 2017. So we are gonna show you how to install it, how to set it up, um, and run it through a couple of tests so you can see how it performs. Uh, we'll look at its strengths and weaknesses, but first let me get one very big piece of bad news out of the way. It's not really a VPN at all, at least not in the traditional sense. Now we'll fully explain this distinction later on in the video, and in case you decide the Opera VPN doesn't really meet your needs and you need a more full-featured VPN, we're gonna recommend one of our favorite VPN providers, as well as give you an exclusive 75% off discount at the end of the video. In the meantime, let's show you how to get this installed and running. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is install the Opera web browser. So to do that, you go to opera.com. I will show you the download link. And it'll be the appropriate link for your system, whether you're on Mac or Windows, uh, right here. So just download. You can run, run it to install. Uh, we recommend doing the custom installation options. You can choose whether you want to import bookmarks from your other browser. We're not going to do that right now. And we're not going to send anonymous usage data. All right, so it's going to give you the option to set the default browser for your HTTP uh, links. Uh, we're just going to keep using our old default browser. Okay, now when you launch Opera for the first time, the VPN is actually disabled by default. So in order to enable it, we have to go to the settings, which you get by clicking the Opera logo in the top left corner. Uh, and then you go down to settings. Then we go to privacy and security. And if you scroll down, you'll see the section that says VPN. So you'll just need to click enable VPN. And instantly you'll see that this VPN um, little label appears in the URL bar. So if we go up here, uh, the VPN is now on, and you can choose a location. Uh, you can choose the optimal location, which will just choose the closest one to where you are. Uh, or you can choose a specific geographic location, and they only let you narrow by contents. So we're going to try Europe. And it says we're connected and has it assigned an IP address, and we can just check this uh, with the IP location tool to see, make sure everything is working well. All right, so as you can see, uh, it's showing the same IP address here as we have, uh, as the VPN is showing us in the URL bar. And it's showing our location is Sweden or Norway, depending on uh, what the source of the geolocation data is. But either way, it's in Europe, and this is not where our connection would be based without the VPN. So it sounds like it's working. All right, so now that the VPN is working, uh, let's connect to the optimal location. And let's put through a couple of tests. Uh, we're gonna do a speed test and we're gonna do a DNS leak test uh, to check the security of the VPN. All right, so it's assigned us a new IP address and we'll check the location this time. We'll just hit refresh here. All right, and now we're back in the USA uh, with a Virginia IP address. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is a quick speed test uh, to see what kind of speeds we can expect. And we're getting around 10 megabits a second, which that's fast enough to stream like uh, 720p and maybe even 1080p video if it's compressed, uh, but it's not outstanding speeds and certainly a paid VPN would do better. And just to compare, we'll disconnect the VPN and show you what our speeds would be without it. Okay, so on a local uh, server without the VPN on, we're getting about 47, 48, almost 50 megabits a second. Uh, and with the VPN on, we were only getting 10, 11, so we've lost approximately 80% of our speed by using the Opera VPN. 
Okay, so one of the final things we'd like to do here is uh, check the VPN for DNS leaks. And what that is, is every time you visit a website, a request is sent to a DNS server that tells you, it translates like a domain name like google.com into an IP address where your computer can locate the website and download the files. Uh, the problem is that m usually your internet provider is the one that's uh, hosting the DNS servers and they try to force you to use their DNS servers. And when you do that, they can see uh, what websites you're visiting. So if a VPN leaks DNS queries, meaning that they still route your requests to your ISP's DNS servers, even when the VPN is on, that would be bad. That would be a security flaw. And so we're testing to make sure that doesn't happen uh, with the Opera VPN. So we're just gonna run the extended test here. And what we're looking for is we wanna make sure that the name of our internet service provider does not show up in the list of DNS servers that are being used. Um, our VPN is Verizon. As you can see, it is not on the list. It's WoodyNet and uh, Google. So I think we should be all set. It looks like uh, Opera VPN does not leak DNS queries. Remember when I said earlier that Opera VPN isn't a true VPN at all? Well, now I'm gonna explain that distinction more fully and look at the limitations of what Opera VPN can and can't do. You see, the way a traditional VPN works is it encrypts all internet traffic for all apps and programs running on the device that you're using the VPN on. So say you've got a web browser, your favorite torrent client, and maybe Skype. A VPN will encrypt all of this data, send to a third-party VPN server, which then sends and receives uh, data from the wider internet on your behalf. Now, Opera VPN, on the other hand, only encrypts traffic from the web browser itself. So all these other apps that are running on your computer won't be protected and will be routed outside the VPN tunnel. So in that sense, Opera VPN is actually an encrypted uh, HTTPS web proxy and not a true VPN at all. All right, so let's look at the things that Opera VPN can and can't do compared to a true VPN. Basically, it can encrypt your web browsing traffic. And that's pretty much it. And only inside the Opera web browser. Whereas a real VPN can encrypt your browsing traffic from any browser like Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, etc. Also, Opera VPN can't protect multiple programs. It can't protect any non-browser traffic. A real VPN can. Uh, there is an, a mobile version of Opera VPN, but again, it only works in the mobile Opera browser. So you can't protect your mobile apps or encrypt your mobile web traffic aside from the Opera browser. It can't be used to download torrents uh, or obscure your torrent IP address, can't install it on a Fire Stick and stream movies securely, and it can't unblock Netflix, which is one of the big uses of VPN services uh, and something that the VPN we're gonna recommend shortly can do and does very well. All right, so if you decide to level up and go with a more professional VPN service, we recommend NordVPN. They're one of the only zero log VPN providers in the world based in Panama, which is a privacy haven, and all plans come with a 30-day, 100% money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied for any reason. Their software is incredibly easy to install and use, uh, and it has all kinds of advanced features like uh, malware protection, uh, two types of kill switches, um, a stealth mode that will help you get through restrictive firewalls like at school or work, and it's got built-in smart DNS, which allows you to unblock websites uh, that are geo-restricted like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, MLB TV, etc. cetera. Uh, they've got servers in over 50 countries, and they even have specialty servers for things like gaming, the anti-DDoS servers, uh, dedicated, dedicated IP servers, um, Tor over VPN servers, and even P2P optimized servers for downloading torrents super fast from secure locations. If you decide to check out NordVPN for yourself, you can save up to 75% off the monthly price and support our channel if you use our affiliate link, which is vpnuniversity.com slash Nord1. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Thanks so much for checking it out. Uh, if you would please take a quick second and just hit the like button below, it makes such a massive difference in video exposure for this video. And also, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of our VPN reviews and tutorials and stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button. All right, thanks a lot and have a great day.